Wow. So here we are, one year in with Armour Reforger. What a year it has been. And I guess I just wanted to talk a little bit about this um, amazing project from Bohemia Interactive um, and kind of how I felt it's been going and how I feel where we're going to be going and why you might want to get involved in Armour Reforger um, and to kind of know what to expect as well. So Armour Forger released a year ago as an early access and game. You know, we can't beat around the bush. You know, it was released as a game for Xbox and PC. And by releasing it on console, on Xbox, uh, the next-gen console, Series S, Series X, you know, Bohemian Interactive were kind of saying, look, 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 this is a game. And, you know, it was a game. You know, we had... Um, the, uh, the big uh, conquest kind of mode and capture and hold. But I think what people weren't expecting was probably how incomplete it was at the time. So Armour Forger is a platform, a uh, beta. Um, it is a stepping stone on the way to Armour 4, the sequel to Armour 3. And very, very importantly, Bohemian Interactive are committed to getting Armour 4 onto console so that means armory forger is on console because of course they've had such an amazing success with daisy and undoubtedly made an awful lot of money by putting daisy on console but i kind of feel that by charging i think it was about 25 pounds for the game for a game that was kind of broken and, and incomplete at um, launch they kind of burnt quite a lot of goodwill um, there was problems with frame rate, there was problems with server connecting, um, the big game mode, uh, I'm on the big island of Everon here, um, they had to reduce it from 64 players, I think it's to 16 players to start off with, so you kind of lost that idea of having all these players um, on the same map trying to trying to achieve something, which, which was a shame. However, where we are now is quite a different place, so I think now is actually quite a good time to get involved in Armour Reforger, um, pick it up cheap on the store, you know, for Xbox or PC, and become part of the development process. Now, the reason why I'm kind of walking slowly up and down uh, this this airfield is because kind of I'm showing you some some modded equipment and some of the vanilla equipment as well, and I want to get across as well is the fact that this is on console. I am on an Xbox Series S. I'm on a 250 pound console, and uh, you can see we have full equivalent of Steam mods. Now the way that the mods work for Armor Forger is that they don't use Steam, they don't use the Steam Workshop, they use uh, their own internal workshop within the game. So it means that any, well, almost any mod that is created for Armour Forger PC will come to um, a console as well. So, for example, what we have here is, this is the vanilla BMP uh, that comes with the game, the Russian Armoured Vehicle. Um, and here we have an M1 Abrams tank, which is a mod. How, look, how cool does that look? And then we have a couple of versions of the Striker, as you can see here. Um, and then we have the helicopters. Now, all the helicopters, as of the time of recording this video, these are all mods. Now, they all work, and they all fire weapons and things like that. Um, and hopefully, sometime this year, we will get official helicopter support from within the game. But as you see, we've got the beautiful Hind there as well. We've got the Black Hawk there as well. There's the Apache, and just... Kind of in the distance, you can just see there, there is the, uh, I think it's the MD500, it's the little bird, basically. And then behind me, we've got some of the, these are vanilla um, vehicles that kind of work. So there we've got, I think that's an American truck, Humvee, familiar to Daisy players. We've got like the American Jeep, and then we've got the Russian uh, UAS, I, I think it would be. So hopefully you can kind of see the potential that is here. Um, the servers are much more stable now. And we've got a couple of different game modes as well. Um, there's a nice uh, little, I can't quite remember, I think it's a combat ops where you can uh, go in with uh, friends and do these little PvE missions where you take out um, enemy strongholds, destroy um, equipment uh, bases, um, kill people, that, that sort of thing, which is very, very nice. Uh, the game's running much, much smoother. There's now a performance mode on console as well, which means that you can have a higher frames per second although i've got to say that this is the um 
Right, in fact, what mode am I in? Let's have a quick look before I, before I say it. Settings, we are in high, okay. Yeah, so, and the frame rate, you know, it, it's pretty good. Remember, what you're getting with these games is you're getting these absolutely massive maps. Um, you know, Daisy-like maps. Um, now, I will also say, though, by getting involved with Armour of Forgia, you're definitely getting involved in a beta project. You know, this has got a long, long way to go. We're probably, I, I would think we're probably two years away from Armour 4, you know. Um, we've got to see within Armour of Forgia, we've got to see the introduction of uh, official helicopters, um, official tanks, and, and that sort of stuff. Um, and I think in two years' time, that's when we'll see Armour 4, and that's when we'll see... Um, Armour 4 coming to console as well but also at that time I think what we will probably see is we'll see something like we'll see Daisy being ported to this Armour Reforger Infusion engine because it looks very much like Daisy when you're wandering around you say well this, this looks a bit di looks like Daisy and because it does um, and the things that you can more easily do within this game um, in terms of modding I think will do it's just a no-brainer for the you know the, the devs will put an awful lot of effort into getting Reforger working, um, and then it will only make sense. Let, let's shift the team over. Get let's um, make sure that they've got enough time to help the Daisy devs to to get Daisy working in this engine because um, it is it is absolutely fantastic. Now we already have, in terms of on the workshop, we have um, someone's working on Chernerus map as well. We have people who have a Daisy mod working as well, where you can go around, and you can loot, and people are playing that. Um, it's all very interesting. As soon as I've got my head around it and I understand how to ins install it on a server and get it working, trust me, I will be creating that sort of thing myself. There's modern equipment mods where, I mean, my soldier here is kind of in 1980s um, garb, but you know, you, you have modern garb as well. There's even some World War II stuff that's coming out, um, which looks uh, pretty fantastic. And it's all a very nice platform that seems to work very well and be very friendly. And remember as well, is I'm in the Game Master mode here as well. Remember, this is on a console now. You know, this is, if you're familiar with the Zeus editor in Armour 3, very similar to that. We haven't got the same mission creation um, sort of um, in-game uh, facilities at the moment. Um, but, but if you're familiar with something like on the Daisy side, the Daisy editor, this kind of, you know, will be familiar. But this is on a console. This, again, is on an Xbox Series S. You know where you can have a scenario running and then someone can go into the game master and basically you know add more enemies take enemies away spawn in equipment um spawn in ai uh, spawn in different things and it is all absolutely fantastic so it's been a bit of a bad start for i thought for reforge it could have gone much much better at reform for to start off with um but the game or the platform is in a much stronger place what i'll be looking for for the devs this year now is we really want to see bring those helicopters the official support for helicopters coming we want to see um more stability on console when it comes to downloading mods because what's happening now is we're there's some absolutely fantastic mods that are being created and some really nice uh, community servers that are going up which um community servers can be cross play but the problem with them is often they have lots and lots of mods on them which which is great you know it really customizes the game but the disadvantage we have on console at the moment is the process for downloading and updating mods can be a little bit hit and miss uh, to say the least and it, it and it can be a little bit challenging but overall i am very very excited about reforger very very excited about the year ahead can't wait to put some more time into reforger can't wait to bring out some more videos for it as well to kind of share these uh, share tutorials with you guys um and uh, let's watch this space kind of let's see what happens and uh, i'm sure by the time 2024 uh, 20, rolls around and we're into looking down the barrel of uh, the end of year two this is going to be a much much different game um, and we're going to be saying oh my gosh look at the amazing changes that have happened so there we go Thank you very much for being me interactive for bringing Reforger to Xbox. Let's hope it comes to PlayStation soon. What do you think, though? Put your questions and comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.